Welcome back to Life Advice That You Do Not Hear In Church and the House of Christmas Lovers. And today we're talking about love. One of you wrote in this question, how do we know that we're in love? How do we know that this particular love is the one we should commit to in a marriage? I've read everywhere that love is a decision, but I've been with my boyfriend for a year now and I'm still not sure if he's the one. I wonder how to draw a line between our feelings and conscious decision. So there are five things that I think are really helpful when you're asking this question because the answer is kind of a mixture of your gut feeling and your conscious decision, both and. So here are five questions that can help you figure out how to find that balance. Question number one, how did you make past decisions? Those decisions that felt really big. So I don't know, it could have been choosing what college you went to, choosing your job, deciding whether or not to go on a certain trip or whatever it may be. When you had some past big decisions to make, how did you decide? Was it mostly a logical choice or are you someone who's driven more by your gut and thinking this feels right in my gut? When James and I got together, I very much felt it in my gut and the, um, the logical part of it lined up too. And I looked at that, but I felt in my gut like really early on, like, yeah, this feels different than anything I've experienced before. This feels right. And for him, like, I think he felt that gut feeling, but he was much more emphasis on the logical side. So he was like, does this line up? Looking at all the little details, the logistics, and then saying, yeah, okay, the feelings are there, but the logistics also are there. So for different people, that balance will look different and that's okay, but make sure you've got both and. The, fe the gut feeling of like, yes, this feels like home and also the logistics of this is a healthy relationship. And again, I talked about this last week, but if you need to know, how do I know if my relationship is healthy? How do I know if we're a good fit? Check out my e-course link down below called Before the Ring. That will help you figure out through quizzes and questions, is this a good fit for me? We were listening from the, la the next room. Were you? Yes, uh-huh. Hi. And Eliana has some things to share that are unintelligible. Oh. She has a lot of fun with me, as long as mommy isn't around. Hi. So I would say, you know, I think Tiffany's first point is so spot on because this question is sort of a referendum on how self-aware you are. Mm -hmm. So if you're a super self-aware person, the uncertainty is kind of a sign that mm, there's something off and you need to dig into it. Mm. But if you're not a super self-aware person like I was, uncertainty is, is what you get because <laughs> you're just not really self-aware, not really in touch with your feelings. And, and when you look at your other decisions in life, you know, taking your first job, deciding to go to college, you can start to see, oh, well, this is how I make these bigger decisions. And this is what the emotional journey is from. The second thing to ask is how would I feel if I decided to say yes? So picture yourself down the road. You've said yes, you've married this person. How does that feel to you? And then do the reverse. If you say no you and you don't marry them and you go your separate ways, how does that feel? Just imagine yourself in that scenario. The guy I dated before James, I'll call him Travis, he was a really great guy. Our relationship was healthy, but after nine months together, I still was just going back and forth constantly. When I pictured myself married to him, I felt claustrophobic. I felt like, this is all there is like i can't breathe when i was picturing it now granted i'm a very like feelings oriented person james can attest to that so some people might not have as drastic feelings as i did but when i pictured going our separate ways i pictured feeling afraid of my future like will i meet someone else am i going to end up single forever like what if this is the best there was and i started realizing like okay so it's not that i really want to be with this guy he's a great guy but it's not like i really want to be with him. It's like, I'm afraid of what might happen if I break up with him. And that was very telling for me. The third thing to ask yourself is, is there something about him that makes me feel off? Like really dig down. Is there something, a conversation we had, something he did, or even does he just not seem like he's all in, in this relationship? And if there's something that makes you feel a little bit off, that will definitely affect your overall feelings of the relationship. So it could mean that you guys just need to have a conversation about something like, when you said this, that made me feel really strange, or you don't seem like you're all in, where are you at in our relationship? Or it could be that you're realizing the relationship isn't as healthy as you 
thought it was. And you just don't want to see that. I've definitely been there in past relationships. Just like this relationship, I know deep down is not healthy, but I don't want to see it. I'm just going to pretend it's not there. And that you'll still feel that even if you're not consciously thinking about it. Oh, do we have a little Natalie appearance? I know some of you have been asking where Natalie is lately. You're about to find out. There's Natalie. Do you want to say hi? She's such yes. a big girl. What's your favorite color? Red, yellow, and blue. Oh, all three. <laughs> what are you excited to do at Christmas? Wrap presents, wrap presents. Wrap presents, wrap presents. Okay, we're back. <laughs> The fourth thing to ask yourself is what do the people I trust think? So it's not like everyone who you trust is going to agree like this guy is or isn't perfect, but you can get some feedback and input. Like, are there things that are concerning to you? Are there things that are really good that maybe I'm not noticing? And just getting that outside perspective can help you figure out what you're feeling too. And the fifth and final thing is, am I projecting onto this guy? If you've been in bad relationships, it is so easy to project those feelings and those experiences onto a really great guy. I know I did that with Travis and I did that with James. My first boyfriend was treated me very badly. He was a jerk to me in a lot of ways. And it was really hard for me to believe that not all men were like that. And so with that experience, I would just project like, oh, well, Travis must be thinking that that other girl's really hot and checking her out because that's what my ex would have done. And so that can kind of warp how you feel about a relationship, even though it has nothing to do with your current relationship. It just has to do with healing from your past because you're projecting your past onto it. And so just ask like, am I projecting from a parental figure or an ex-boyfriend or an ex-friend, somebody who hurt me? Am I projecting that onto this person and seeing them kind of in a warped way than what's reality. So ask yourself those five questions. And I think those things can be very telling. So I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.